people have been on that land for several years. Um, I think it's um, it's not going to be an overnight solution, but they've been here for some time. Um, I know that the Cuman Lagoon era from for many years have been said to be um, of intrinsic ecological value, um, particularly as it relates to being a um, water catchment area for the Belize City um, communities. Um, I've had discussions with the Deputy Mayor of Belize City. I was really proud of how we handled the situation by ensuring that the person there had the access, even though the landowner um, owns the land and has the right to do as he pleases. But I think we live in a country where we have to learn to work together and not be um, always colliding and always up in arms and try to figure out how we navigate, how we, how we, how we live together. So the folks are still there, they'll be staying um, there. They're still there. Um, we had a meeting recently with um, Urban Planner, Carolyn Trent Sandiford, who had done some work in regards to that area. Um, there's also another planner who has done some work recently. Um, it's Keisha Rodriguez that we're supposed to meet with to get um, the research that she has done on that era. We have to meet with the environment people to ascertain um, how important the era still is at relate, as it relates to being a catchment, water catchment era. Um, it's going to require a lot of effort from a lot of departments to make sure that at the end of the day we do the right thing, um, whether it means uh, relocating those folks. Uh, in that case, we would have to find land for them. We are prepared to do that. But uh, we're not near to a decision or near to a solution just yet. We're working on that as a process. As I said, those people didn't reach here overnight, but it's a lot of people. We're trying to ascertain exactly how many people, but some say it's over 200 persons. The water there is deep. Um, so it's not like you can just go in and survey and push streets and all that kind of stuff.